let's take a look at how you work with page layouts in Motif. Here we're looking at a nice spread with two full-sized images on both pages. I think it would be nice to put a collage on the left-hand side of this page just for some variety. So let's see how you do that. We'll do it by using the Change Layout dialog box, which we access by clicking the Change Layout icon here. Here we can see different layouts for the existing layout, which has one image, so we're seeing choices for one image on the page. But I could see alternative versions using two images on the page, three images on the page, four, five, six, all the way up to nine. I think six would be nice, so let's look at our options for six images here. And you'll notice that since there was only one image on the page to start, we're only seeing one image as a starting place. If there had been more images, we would have seen more. So I like this one here, so let's select it by double-clicking it. And you see now we've got that layout in place with placeholders for the other five images on the page. So let's put some images in there. I'm going to go to my image palette and drag in this one. And I'm going to drag in this one. And maybe finding some more that have a, a present theme would be nice. So here's... Another one here, and how about some balloons just for fun? Let's put some balloons up there, and let's see, we're looking for one more. How about this one? Okay, so that's a fun looking layout. So what if we wanted to go the other way? We could do that as well. So let's click the Change Layout dialog again, that icon here, there it is. And so now if we wanted fewer images, uh, we can see that there's plenty of images, uh, plenty of options for the six image layout still up here, but if we wanted fewer images, we could go down to five, or we could go down to four. And again, I'm seeing some really fun options here um, that again, use the images from the page. So maybe let's choose this four up layout here. That's kind of a nice one there. So let's double click that. And there we are. So in addition to using the change layout dialog box, which we just did, there's a couple other fun ways to adjust layouts interactively. The first is that I can grab this blue handle between images here, uh, and I can just drag that, and all the images on the page smoothly resize. Drag it the way, they resize the other way. So that's one way, just drag the gutters between images, and they work horizontally as well as vertically, like that. Um, or, of course, I could change a layout by deleting an image. So if I decide I didn't want this one, I could select it and delete it, and then I could close these up to fill up that space. That's looking kind of nice. Um, and then finally, I could add an image. So if I want a new image on, on this layout, I could go back to my palette, get that image that I had on there before, drag it up, and as I move it around the page, suggestions for where it could go are presented to me interactively. So I'm just gonna put it at the bottom of the page here and let it go there and maybe some of that, and there you have it. And that is how you adjust layouts magically in Motif. We hope you enjoyed this introduction to Motif. For more tutorial videos, help, and support, visit us at www.motifphotos.com support.